Hello, hello everyone. So as you read the title, I may or may not just own all 17 shades of Etude's Fixing Tint. I absolutely love the Fixing Tint formula and I own all the shades including 4 limited edition ones and 1 mini limited edition version. So I'm gonna swatch it all on my lips today. May my lips you know, be alright. I might take little breaks here and there. So I don't have anything on right now. I just have a little gloss to prep myself for what's to come. And I will be showing to you guys every single shade, how it look like on my skin tone. And towards the end of this video, I will be sharing with you guys what are some of my favorite shades if you are my skin tone and you're looking to pick up sun fixing tint shades. There are some of my recommendations. So without further ado, let's get into it. I genuinely don't like this colour. I'm not sure is it because my lips are so painful and so um, stripped that's why it's not applying so nicely but we saw the first application it's not, it's not the greatest. What do you guys think?
around my skin tone you want to check out some colors here are some of my personal recommendations i'm splitting it into two categories first category would be more of the neutral daily wear side it's very easy to match second category would be more on the vivid statement lip kind of colors so let's start off with the neutral colors the more daily wearable colors i would definitely highly recommend midnight more of this was one of the very very popular colors i think that started the whole tiktok viral trend and for good reason, it's a very easy to wear colour. Don't be afraid of the word mauve. You may be thinking like, oh, mauve is for like cool undertones or pink undertones kind of thing. But no, this looks really, really good. And I also really like Rose Latte. This is a limited edition fall winter 2022. And I actually really, really like this colour. When I did my review video of the limited edition colors i did say that rose latte and midnight mauve are pretty close to one another it's just that midnight mauve is slightly more mauvey while rose latte is a little bit more on the pinkish side but both of these colors look really really close and similar to my natural lip color whenever i'm in a rush or in a hurry i throw either of these tints into my work bag and these two tints work really really well with any eye look that i do for the day when i go to work or i go out with friends for the vivid category i have three shades over here one would be rose blending i truly like rose blending because it's more of a purple leaning lip color but it's just something very very different in my regular collection i usually don't own a lot of purple lippies because sometimes i feel like purple might clash with my yellow skin tone a little bit might sallow it out a little bit as well but this this shade looks really really good and it looks very flattering on my skin tone so i highly recommend this number six soft walnut and the reason why i like soft walnut is because i would say that this is medium tone a lot of the fixing tints in the lineup they are rather light in tone and bright at the same time so sometimes maybe your lips can kind of get lost in your face but this soft walnut color in particular it's deeper in tone so it helps to make sure your lips are like kind of there and also it works really great for fall winter seasons although you can wear it whenever you want but i absolutely love this tint and i love applying this so normally what i'll do is i will apply a lighter lip tint at the bottom for a base lip shade and when i add the soft walnut color on top in the middle it's a very very pretty color so I recommend soft walnut one of my favorites next one I would recommend is the one I'm currently wearing and I just watched it just now it is orange mojito from the cacao friends collection I think this is a stunning orangey reddish color I was a little bit afraid not gonna lie that this would pull very bright but after it dries down it actually turns a little bit more muted and it's actually very wearable and it actually flatters my yellow I didn't say orange skin tone <laughs> personally orange mojito really truly reminds me of apple carrot but without the white base in it without the whiteness the brightness in it so when it dries down it looks definitely still bright but it's not as 
quite stuck in your face kind of thing, you know? So this is truly much more wearable compared to Apple Carrot for me. I'm glad I got a mini of this because I truly don't really like Apple Carrot. You might catch me wearing this lip tint in my future videos for all you know. And if you are interested in the full in-depth review of the fixing tints from Etude, I go into way much more details such as the formula, wear test, mask proof test as well. Then you can go and check out my video over here. This is the original video that started my love for the fixing tints and I will see you guys over there.